You know all those concentration camps on the border AOC has been telling us about? Well, she's actually found one. Just look at the raw emotion, the pain, the anguish. Oh, the humanity! I'll never forget this because it was the moment I saw with my own eyes that the America I love was becoming a nation that steals refugee children from their parents and cages them! I feel her emotions in every single picture, especially the last one. It's pure anger, and how can one not feel anger after seeing what she saw? Really? So what did she see? Distraught children separated from their parents. Mexican miners left to suffer alone in metal cages. Crying kids interned in barbaric concentration camps. <laughs> Turns out, it was an empty parking lot. Oh, the humanity! It's pure anger, and how can one not feel anger after seeing what she saw? Yeah, you saw with your own eyes a few bored cops, and a few dozen hysterical sanctimonious idiots pretending to cry over nothing for a crass photo op. That's what you saw. Oh, the humanity. I'm just glad that this photographer, and this photographer, and this photographer all captured her authentic, in-the-moment, grief-ridden reaction. To an empty parking lot, in photos, that were definitely not staged. This definitely wasn't a photo op attended by over a dozen virtue signaling celebrities. AOC's reaction in these photos is about as authentic as her fake black accent. Looks like ain't nothing wrong with that. Not authentic. It's about as authentic as her claim of growing up in the Bronx, when in reality she spent most of her childhood in Yorktown Heights, which is 90% white. Not authentic. It's about as authentic as her claim to care about the financial struggle of working-class New Yorkers, when she literally helped cancel a deal that would have brought 25,000 new jobs to New York. Not authentic. It says the official recommendation, there were three different options presented. The third included the option for family separation. This initiative would pursue prosecution of all amenable adults, including those presenting with a family unit. Mr. Holman, your name is on this, is this correct? Yes, I signed that memo. So you are the author of the family separation policy? I am not the author of this memo. You're not the author, but you signed the memo? Yes, a, so, zero, a zero tolerance memo. So you provided the official recommendation to Secretary Nielsen on family, for the United States to pursue family separation? I gave Secretary Nielsen numerous recommendations on how to secure the border and save lives. But it says here that you, re you gave her numerous options, but the recommendation was option three, family what, separation. What I'm saying, this is not the only paper where we've given the Secretary numerous options to secure the border and save lives. And so the recommendation of the many that you recommended, you recommended family separation. I recommend a zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is whenever you a citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If parents. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separated that Mr. father from Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay.